violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. All right, so we have a very interesting video for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna be covering a multitude of different crimes that have occurred across the United States. Um, so just bear with me here. But the first one we got, guys, is murder charges filed against man involved in a fatal casino fight. <clears throat> So this man got in a fight at a casino and beat somebody to a pulp. I mean, just straight beat him to death, okay? And <clears throat> let's read what happened. A Las Vegas man has been charged with the murder after police said he fatally punched a man inside the lobby of the, star of, of the Strat. Surveillance footage from the Strat showed Michael Saunders punching a man at the check-in line on August 27th, according to an arrest report from the Metropolitan Police Department released Wednesday. Saunders told police he heard his fiance say, stop touching me and get away from me to the man behind her. Saunders then ran toward where she was standing in line and punched the man behind her without saying a word, the reporter stated. So he could be making this up, the stop touching me, the get away from me part, just to have a reason. <clears throat> Um, I don't know, you know, but it sounds like it's a little far-fetched and then it's like, bro, at the end of the day, say something, be like, yo, why are you touching my wife? Like he didn't even do that. He just straight boom. And that's a problem with a lot of us brothers. We react emotionally to what a woman says and we don't look for the facts. We don't look for any explanation. We just go in blindly and oftentimes get ourselves in trouble. I mean, believe it or not, a lot of these shootings in uh, some of these inner cities are <clears throat> are provoked by women. The victim identified in the reports as Thatch Wynn of Springfield, Virginia, suffered a severe brain bleed. The 73-year-old died on September 8th of blunt force trauma to the head. The Clark County Coroner's Office said, his death was ruled a homicide. Dude, you punch a 73 I mean, come on. He was probably mad because he lost some money at the, at the slot machine and wanted to take it out on somebody defenseless. There's no way that... Now, I absolutely don't believe that man said stop st or that man was touching his wife. He's 73 years old, bro. Come on. Court records show that Saunders was arrested August 27th and his charge was upgraded from battery to murder on August 31st. Saunders has a prior conviction in Las Vegas Justice Court for domestic battery in 2008, according to court records. So he has a record of putting his hands on women, but then he hears that his woman is getting hands put on her and by an old man and kills him. He was convicted of burglary, kidnapping, and robbery in 2013 in a separate case and sentenced to eight years or to eight to 20 years behind bars. So how is he out now? That's my question. How is he out now? How they let him out after all these charges? I mean, this is supposed to be the race, the racist criminal justice system that has let a man out after he's got domestic charges, burglary, kidnapping, and robbery. Interesting. We begin with some breaking news in Brooklyn where a woman has been shot. Police are searching for the gunman right now. CBS 2's Corey James live on the scene in East New York with the breaking details. Corey. And Marisa Christine, that woman, an innocent victim, now fighting for her life. Police say she was standing near this corner where you can see it appears about a dozen bullets went flying this evening. Take a look at this video. Investigators say the shooting happened just before 9 o'clock. And according to the NYPD, three teens got into an argument at Belmont and Georgia Avenues. At some point, shots were fired and at least one of those bullets hitting a 30-year-old woman. Three teens get in an argument. 
shoot it out in New York. 30 year old woman passed away, killed, shot by these young hoodlums who are trying to resolve their beefs. Let's run it back. For her life, police say she was standing near this corner where you can see it appears about a dozen bullets went flying this evening. Take a look at this video. Investigators say the shooting happened just before nine o'clock, and according to the NYPD, three teens got into an argument at Belmont and Georgia Avenues. At some point, shots were fired, and at least one of those bullets hitting a 30-year-old woman in the head. Now she was taken to Brookdale Hospital and is listed in critical condition at last check. Police, though, as you can see, are still out here investigating. They're also looking for those three suspects so far a description of them has not been released why do you think a description of them hasn't been released i mean if this was like <laughs> a, a, a white mass shooter and he pulled up on the side of the corner and aired everybody out oh you best believe there would be a description maybe there's no description because these guys had covid mask on and they were able to hide their identities who knows? We're live in East New York, Brooklyn. Corey James, CBS 2 News. Okay, Corey, thank you. Tonight, it is terrifying, heartbreaking, and just difficult to watch. Yeah, Houston police released several body cam videos showing a deadly shootout that killed one officer, seriously wounded another, and ended with the suspect dying. The department is sounding the alarm about the modified weapon that suspect was using. Deva Gonzalez has a closer look and why police face an uphill battle in getting it off the streets. Look, this is in Houston. It doesn't matter if Buddy had a modified weapon or not. <clears throat> Obviously, it assisted in his evasion of the police until he was killed. But let's keep it a buck. He would have got them shots off with a semi-automatic, okay? These dudes are on demon time. They are not afraid of the police. They're shooting it out with the police and, you know, taking whoever's life that gets in their way. And it's really just, it, it's, it's, it's sad, man. In the middle of the hood, just firing it out. The body cam footage is so scary because it shows just how fast things escalated. Now authorities are warning about auto switches, which could turn semi-automatic weapons into machine guns. Dion, it's Houston police. Let's do this thing. It's a barrage of bullets, Houston. Wow. So they, I mean, they were being nice with him. <clears throat> they were being nice with him. They said, Dion, it's the police. Let's do this the nice, and he just starts firing about auto switches, which could turn semi-automatic weapons into machine guns. Dion, it's Houston police. Let's do this thing. So these are supposed to be the racist police officers. He's giving them a chance. He says, let's do this the easy way. He tries to give him instructions. Nope. And this is why the police oftentimes reference that they are scared for their lives because these dudes is on demon time. We saw what happened in Florida when that uh, that dude with the dreads pulled up it with a, um, a semi-automatic um, weapon on the police. It's a barrage of bullets Houston police didn't see coming. Body cam footage show an officer running for cover after Dion Ledette opened fire on officers on September 20th. HPD was serving an arrest warrant at his home, but he refused to come out. Another angle shows Sergeant Michael Vance crawling to safety moments after being shot. Senior officer Bill Jeffrey was also hit but died from his injuries. Mm. ATF says Ledette was using a gun with an auto switch. Wow. So he kills an officer. And this is happening all over the country. It really is. I just did the report. Um about the guy who killed the officer in Georgia. And these criminals have gotten to the point where they don't, they're not, anything goes. Back in the day, oh, you know, don't shoot at the officer. Like, it was some, it was that type of vibe. But now, it's OV. We want to identify the source of these switches in, in this city. It, it's out there, someone knows. A gun that has been converted in this way can fire 
30 rounds within about 2.6 seconds. Rania Mancarius with Crime Stoppers of Houston says there's very little any human can do to protect themselves when confronted with this type of firepower. Crime Stoppers and authorities say these switches are illegal and are smuggled into the U.S. through Mexico. This is the type of activity that... And that goes toward the illegal immigration issue as well. I mean, this case is a heap of... <laughs> of of just I don't I honestly I don't even know what to call it it's just a heap of evidence as to how if you don't get a hold on these brothers and illegal immigrants who are out here on demon time you know your city is gonna burn once a criminal engages in it lives will be lost. Mancaria says speaking up is the only way to get these auto switches out of the hands of criminals. If you know, if you hear of somebody else trying to do this, a friend, um, a neighbor, somebody in the community, somebody at school talking about converting a weapon, you really do need to report it. The easiest way to report it is by calling Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Anyone caught with an auto switch faces some serious jail time. In Houston, I'm David Gonzalez, KHRU 11 News. On the ground. Now, the world of athletics is in mourning following the puzzling matter of upcoming long distance athlete Agnes Tirop at her Itain home. Now, Tirop, who participated in the 5,000 meters women race at the Tokyo Olympics, where she finished fourth, was found dead with stab wounds, according to police. Now, the two time world athletics bronze medalist is suspected to have been killed by her estranged husband or lover. El wow. So we have in a kenyan olympian killed by her husband and a lot of people are talking about oh the motherland is better the motherland this the motherland that yo yo <laughs> it's worse in the motherland come on viscous gay headlines are broadcast tonight <laughs> Shocked residents from Fandwai throng the homestead of an upcoming athlete Agnes Tirop, a 25-year-old who finished fourth in the 5,000 meters women's final after word went round that she was no more. The athlete had gone missing, sending fear among her parents who reported the matter to the police. The body of the world 10,000 bronze medalist Agnes Tirop was found early this morning at a hidden home in the county of Elgio Maraquet. Keio North Police boss Tom Makori said the young athlete, a two-time world athletics bronze medalist, died from stabbing wounds in the neck. Wow. This man stabbed her in the neck, ruthless. No remorse. The disrespect. The, I mean, it's, it's insane. Wakati waliangalia mwili ni kama medungwa uh, kitu kwa shingo. And I guarantee this wasn't the only murder that occurred in Kenya that day. She's just the biggest name. Mambao tunacharibu kusema ya kwamba hende kawa ni kitu kama kisu. Na tunacharibu kwa mini kutokana na hiyo ilifanya apate hicho kifo chake. Bwana yake mpaka saa hii achapatikana. Ile tunaita preliminary investigation ya kuonyesha ya kwamba bwana yake ni kama amehusika kwa sababu ya patikani. Tirop began a career as a junior athlete in 2011, winning two bronze medals in the 5000 meters at that year's World Junior Championships. Yami yake walikuja station katika hali ya kufuatilia yale maneno ya jana ya kwamba yule tirobu walikuwa mepotea. Lakini hiko maneno ambayo ititoka kwa jamii ya buwana yake tirobu. Ambayo walisema ya kwamba buwana alikuwa mepigia wa sasi akilia. Alright guys, so basically what he's saying here. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I don't know what the hell he's saying. Akiwelezea kwamba mungu wa musamee hiko kitu mba mefanya. Iye ikafanya askari kufanya uamusi ya kwamba yende kawa kiko chambo mbaya ibidi 
Ita watumie mbinu zosote wapate kuingia nyumba ambao ni yake tiropo. Nenye metokea wote kama wakimbiaji. Tunasikia uchungu. Saba amekuwa ni mtu mpole ajakuwa na maneno mingi. Na hata jingsa mnavyo juu ametuakilisha Kenya juzi juzi. She won the Senior World Cross Country Championships in China. Becoming the second youngest medalist at that level. Nimengangana at least in mengia finals. To 5,000 the first time in Kibia World Champs. Olympics in the first time. So, nilukwa na worried. But nilukwa ni mepanga. Mengia tutu tutu. Her body was taken to a 10-county referral mortuary. Elvis Kosgei, KTN News, Elgumara Quet County. And an update on a shooting at a Bronx basketball court that injured a 13-year-old boy. Another 13-year-old has been arrested and charged with attempted murder. So guys, this one, last story today, crazy situation. But this young man, 13 years old, with the strap in the Bronx. I've done stories on the Bronx. It is, it's getting insane out there. <clears throat> Them boys are on demon time at the age of 13. Charged with attempted murder, guys. This is a 13 year old. He's also busting slack, watch him walk. He's also sagging his pants. Look at him pull his pants up. Arrested and charged with attempted murder. You see? Pulling his pants up with the gun in his hand, which he really could have shot himself in the leg. These guys have no firearm training. They just out here just shooting indiscriminately. He's accused of shooting the victim in the knee following an argument at Hunts Point Playground last. I mean, how do young brothers get to this point? Seriously. At 13 already. Toting straps. We police say he was turned in by his mother. So guys, this is the full video. As you heard in the last report, he was turned in by his mama. He was turned in by his mama. If 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 not for that, I don't know if they would have been able to identify him, to be honest. Look, and the man. This is what they on, man. This is what they on is crazy. Gang violence and other kind of violence. 